Rated G. What's up guys, Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Train Sim World yet again. My profile got deleted yet again after the last um, scenario I did on YouTube, which is really, really unfortunate. I gotta figure out a way to start saving this. Hopefully it'll come up with some type of cloud save in the future. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. We are going to be doing the Northern Trans Pennine Railway, uh, which is based in the early 80s, I think 83 to be exact. Let's go ahead and open up this route. And we're going to, of course, do a scenario. I haven't done any scenarios on this as of yet, but I did do a service or two just for fun. Let's see. I want to do something that does most of the route, and I want to do freight, not passenger. Um, let's go ahead and do this. 45 minutes long, 3 out of 5 difficulty. Standage struggle. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I'm pronouncing trans Pennine right trans Pennine? I think that's right Anyways, it says join the service as it hauls fuel across the steep inclines and descents of the Pennines Which is the Pennines is I believe a mountain range in northern England uh, Just so you guys know this route covers from Manchester Victoria, which is I believe is down here all the way up to Leeds at the top and via Huddersfield I think Huddersfield if I had to guess, it would be somewhere in this area at the top of the uh, the mountain range. But anyways, let's go ahead and get it started. This is a relatively difficult uh, locomotive class to use, obviously. I mean, for the 80s, I'm sure it had a lot of power, but it doesn't have a whole lot of power compared to some of the newer locomotives. So this should be somewhat interesting. Anyways... I'm going to go ahead and check the brakes first and foremost once it gets done talking. So we've got to wait for the, uh, the line to clear. Let's go ahead and change this over to vacuum brakes for goods because we are transporting freight. I think the master key is already on. Yep, it is on, which is good. And I want to get the headlights on. And then I also want to get the instrument lights on as well so we can see what's going on right there. Next, let's get the local brake going, and let's go ahead and release the train brake. It'll probably ask me to release the train brake yet again, uh, coming up here in just a second. So I guess we're waiting for this train to pass, which is a passenger service. They probably get priority on the line, I'm assuming. Just an assumption. There we go. Let's go ahead and release the train brake. Perfect. Uh, so first and foremost, you do want to go ahead and, of course, you need to watch the amps either right here on this dial or in the bottom right on your gauges. Let's go ahead and give it some power, though. Oops. Wrong button. And then we're going to release the loco brake here because we just want to prevent us from rolling backwards. So, oop, and we're getting pretty high on the amps there. I don't want to get wheel slip right off the bat. So definitely, if you can see the amps right here, you don't want to get over this amount or anywhere close to that amount because you could get wheel slip. Obviously, it's snowing or it has snowed outside. So we want to be careful on that. And we're going to slowly increase our throttle. Trying to keep amps under 2,000 if we can. Just keep in mind that this locomotive is very slow to react, both in acceleration and braking. So you want to keep that in mind. Frame rate's never good coming out of here. Um, from what I see, I'm probably only getting about 40 frames a second, somewhere in there, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but I'm usually getting a roughly 60 with my computer set up right now throughout the route. Let's see what we're hauling, because I haven't really looked back. You can kind of see. It's like fuel. Just bring back the throttle a little bit. I don't want to go over 20 miles per hour at this section, although it's going to increase all the way up to like 60 or 80 here in a second. Oops. 
bring back. Oh, there we go. Just gonna keep a close eye on the amps, make sure I don't get wheel slip moving forward. And as you can see, we're slowly going up an incline. It's gonna get um, more and more steep as we head towards Huddersfield. And feel free to comment if I'm butchering any of these names because I wouldn't doubt it. We're gonna get up as fast as we can go. Again, I'm gonna slowly raise the throttle while trying to prevent wheel slip if I can. And we got about 21 miles to go. We're going to Stally Bridge. Try to get a few views for you guys if I can. And keeping a close eye on the amps as we move forward. Lots of weight. I'm sure it's lots of power, but it's not enough power to really get going. In fact, I think if we get on the steepest incline, we might actually lose a little bit of speed. And there's always a potential for getting wheel slip as we head up the mountain range here. Definitely beautiful scenery with the snow, though. Pretty nice. Go ahead and go full throttle. I think we're good on the amps. Yep, we are. If you're first starting this route, I know you have to go through the tutorial, but make sure you do the tutorial for this locomotive itself. This scenario, it's actually set up for you uh, fairly well, except for the brakes, which you need to change back there. Um, but it took me a while to figure out how to get this locomotive moving when I first did a service on it. Um, I think it's because I didn't have the master key on, which is kind of hidden back behind these gauges right here. Or levers, levers, whatever you want to call it. So amps look good, miles per hour look good. Um, as we get towards the top of the range, when you get to, I think it's Huddersfield at the top of the mountain range, Keep in mind that there is a reduction down to 15 miles per hour. Um, I think it's like that on all scenarios. So you could probably run this entire route without the HUD on if you're really good. I'm not that good, unfortunately. I haven't played enough uh, train sim as of lately, but I will get there one day. See, I'm getting, say, you know, 70 frames per second, which is more than enough for me. Got the window open. Something that's pretty cool is you can actually work the uh, the sun visors throughout. And it does help if the sun actually gets in front of our face or in front of us. We'll put that down to help the glare out a little bit. Anyway, happy to be doing the train sim again. Sorry, I haven't been releasing a whole lot of videos. Still trying to get to that point. But releasing something is way better than releasing nothing. And of course, I hope to stream sometime soon as well. Especially with the new, uh, was it Washington State that just came out? Hoping to do that. Our reduction to 50 is coming up. We're only doing. I'm going to bring the throttle back because we almost got wheel slip right there. That was pretty bad. Still. Pretty uh, tight curve right here. And that will give you wheel slip a, a long width, a steep incline. You obviously do not want to get back inside just to watch the gauges, make sure everything is going smoothly. Anyways, I do need to start doing um, streams. I got like literally 200 video games to give away. 
I need to figure out a way to start giving those out. Unfortunately, no one's watching my channel or my streams because I haven't done it in so long. But for those of you that have stuck around and still watch these videos, I will be giving away plenty of games. I'll probably do it via YouTube starting off somehow. But I have a backlog of games I'll never, ever play. I still got American Truck Sim. I still got a lot of routes and scenarios on this I want to play before doing anything else. So. All right, 2.4 miles. Um, it goes down to 40 miles per hour, which I think is right outside of Huddersfield, and it will go down to 15 miles per hour shortly after that. So just be aware. Also, more importantly, make sure to check the amps. We're starting to go up a very, very steep incline. Pretty sure this is uh, is a Dighton platform right here. We'll reduce the throttle just a little bit. I don't like the amps getting that high. Okay, so it actually does warn you here. So there's a 50 mile per hour speed restriction when passing through Huddersfield reduced speed. I didn't see that the first time I played this route. I'm sure it popped up, but I just didn't look at it for whatever reason. But that is your warning right there. back up. And this is before the, or this line in the time frame that we're in right now, which is the early 80s, is before the automatic warning system came out on this railway. Just FYI on that. We all learn something new every day. And since the sun's in our face, we'll go ahead and put down sun visors and my amps are going up and up and up which I don't like very very steep hill which I want to reduce the throttle a little bit we need to reduce our speed anyways I'd rather have the amps be lower than what they need take our time going up the hill the cool thing about having the screens down is even when you look on the outside you're still in the cab Obviously, your, uh, your friends in the cab there with the sun visors are down, which is pretty neat. I'm going to reduce the throttle. Actually, I'm going to cruise it right now and then add some brakes. Again, the brakes take forever to kick in. And they're not very good either on top of that. But yeah, I think this is Huddersfield where we're going to have to end up starting to slow down. Keep in mind, anything you do in this locomotive, it takes a while, so you want to release the brakes before you get down to speed. In fact, I need the throttle back on, otherwise it will stop this train on the incline. Let me make sure we don't brake too much. In fact, let me go ahead and release this just in case it reduces all pressure on the brake. And I'm okay getting down to a few miles per hour like we are now, but I don't want to completely stop. You can see, if you over brake and stop, you might end up rolling backwards, which you do not want. There we go, We're slowly increasing speed as we get towards the top of this hill here. leave the throttle actually I'll give it a little bit more throttle because we can get up to 15 miles per hour I 
but I am very happy with going under 15 miles per hour too, so I'm not too concerned with it. Gives you a good view of the station right there. No wheel slip yet, which is really good. If you do get wheel slip, don't be discouraged. All you have to do is just take off the throttle completely, turn it off, and then put it back on. Sixteen miles to go to our location. So the frame rate will probably suffer a little bit. I'm gonna put the sun visors up because I think we have a long tunnel that we're going to end up going through. Try not to go over 15 until we get the track switch coming up. In very long tunnel. And I want to say there's multiple tunnels coming up. Can't see a damn thing. You could technically turn on the uh, cab light if you want to. Doesn't really help that much, but. should be able to increase our speed coming up. 1% incline, which is pretty steep given the weight that we do have. Like I said, very, very long tunnel. I want to say the, um, the description stated there was like a three mile tunnel, which I, I'm guessing this would be the three mile tunnel, although it's not really three miles in the game. I think it's reduced a little bit. So this would be Standage Tunnel, which I guess in real life is over three miles long. I don't think it's three miles in this game. I could be wrong. I know we come out right here, and I think we're going to head to the right through another tunnel. And I definitely need to get the throttle up as high as possible now. because we're cleared to go up to 50 miles per hour again. I was like, why is it why is it so dark everywhere? There we go. Much better. Slowly increasing the throttle. Still 1% incline, working our way up. 60 frames a second, which is nice.
15 miles to go. So far, so good. Still working our way up the mountain. sure nothing is too far off. Don't want to start getting any wheel slip for any reason. Anyways, if you made it to this point, please, please go ahead and put cheers below. If you want to see me do a specific scenario, route, service, or what have you, please, please let me know. If you want to see a different game, tell me I might be able to do a video on that game as well. Really want to do a video on uh, American Truck Sim with the Washington State or something with ETS2. I haven't done anything with ETS2 in forever, but I have my complete setup done with the 18-speed um, shifter and everything else. So look forward to a video at some point in the future on that. See that meter or gauge right there should be good. liking this route so far, you know, I'm not really a fan of the older style locomotives, I'm not going to lie, I like the newer, faster technology and even the faster diesel locomotives, but it definitely hasn't been bad by any means. I think it's, um, it's a pretty good route. The length is good, you have a pretty high incline and of course a decline on the other side of the mountain range, and it's challenging, especially hauling as much as we're hauling in fuel and the weight on it, it is definitely challenging to both accelerate and to brake on time. See that sun glare, even if it's beneath the visor, it definitely affects you a little bit. We're up to a, a, a very crisp 26 miles per hour. Full throttle in case you didn't know already. 
now's the time we just kind of sit back and relax a little bit as a train engineer. Keep an eye on the gauges. I would say drink a beer, but I don't think that'd be allowed. She'd probably wrap me out, for sure. I can know she'd wrap me out. So, I was lying, Huddersfield is not the top of the mountain range. I'm sure you guys figured that out already. If you like all the little twisting curves on this route as well. service on this route one time just to figure out what I'm doing and make sure I don't make a fool of myself on the scenario which I haven't done yet not to say it won't happen once we get closer to the end but we'll see line which is good so pretty things look fairly basic it's like they kind of built like old warehouses and how they would look like in the 40s and 50s in my opinion although maybe it's what it looked like in the 80s I really don't know couldn't say. So it looks like we're coming up on a platform. I'd like to tell you which platform this is, but I really don't know. I think that's slat slat weight? Slate weight? No, I'm butchering that name. I got Transpennine down, but I don't... Slade weight. I know it's completely wrong. Maybe you guys can correct me. And I believe the next platform is Marsden. Feel free to correct me, though. I'm not an expert by any means. Still 1% incline. We have a reduction down to 55 miles per hour coming up in roughly two miles, which there's no way we're going to get close to 55 miles per hour, so I think we're good on that. But my assumption is these two corners, maybe this corner right here, is why the reduction of speed is needed. You can see there's quite a bit of turning coming in to where we're stopping at as well. She'll check it out and see what happens. I think we're about, what, maybe 25, 26 minutes into this route? Maybe a little longer.
little nervous about getting wheel slip on these two upcoming turns. Right here and here. Keep an eye on my amps as I go through here. Definitely up in the mountains. I feel like I'm up in the mountains at least. I'd love to go skiing or snowboarding right there. That looks fun. Um, I forgot what the, what do they call this paint? The British Rail livery, which is blue and yellow. I'm pretty sure it's the British Rail livery. Not my favorite colors. I'm not a big fan of yellow in general. Blue and yellow is kind of weird. It's not bad looking, it's just not good looking either. Eleven miles to go to our destination, and it may be a pretty quick eleven miles if we end up going downhill at some point. But I feel like this would be the top of the mountain here. Be wrong. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get back inside though. The sun's almost actually going down behind the mountains, which is kind of crazy. Go ahead and raise that up. The sun is behind there, so pretty good. And I will keep an eye. My mouse will cooperate with me on the amps. Coming up. We're definitely under the speed limit, so we're good on that. And keep in mind, this is one of those trains and locomotives that if you had to brake from like 60 miles per hour down to 30 you literally need a mile or two to do it so I will keep that in mind as we get closer to the end especially if we start heading downhill the amps still look pretty good so far Kind of hovering around 1785 right now. Reduction down to 40 coming up, which is fine. We're uh, well under that as well. Don't want to do that. Wrong button. Just trying to make sure we're not switching tracks coming up or not. Now I'm really confused at where we're at as far as the platform. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the speed a little bit just in case. I think this is Greenfield or Marsden. One or the other. I need to look. Make sure it doesn't want me to slow down coming up. Nope. Try to go back to full throttle now. We do have a passenger service to the right. What's up, man? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to give like the engineer wave, similar to the Jeep wave or not. Alright. I'm going to reduce the throttle just a little bit. A little concerned about, yeah, I'm going to reduce it more. Because our amps are going up on this tight curve heading into the tunnel. Here we go. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Story of my life, right? Just need to make sure we don't go over 40 miles per hour. We're already under 10 miles to go. Let's 
see how long this tunnel actually is. I think it started at like 9.5, 9.6. Reduction down to 45. We'll just keep it under 45 regardless. Maybe this is the standard tunnel. That's three miles long. Yeah, this is probably the three mile long tunnel. Cause that, that little light at the end of the tunnel is not getting any bigger. Let's just see where we're at on the map. So this long straightaway may be the three mile long tunnel. what it would look like without any HUD going through the tunnel. Pretty crazy. You keep an eye on your speed right there in the top left. Plus your amps. Through the bottom left is your brake pressure. There's another train passing us by. Some throttle a little bit. Just a little more. I'm going to keep it at 45. There's no reason in going as fast as possible and then trying to brake last minute. Yeah, so this is definitely the three mile long tunnel right here because we're already two miles into it roughly or pretty close to two miles and it looks like we probably at least have another mile to go to get out so I stand corrected on where the tunnel was but my assumptions will start declining after this which would prove that that's a standage tunnel and I think that was the last um, platform we went by was Marsden, I believe. Marsden or Greenfield, and then we got Mosley and then Stally Bridge is where we're stopping at. Okay, let me get my throttle down. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the throttle on. So just let me, I'll cruise it right now, turn the throttle off. We're already at 45 could get bumped up slightly which is fine I'll just have to put some brakes on that was 100% the three mile tunnel and probably getting down the speed because of this turn which is pretty insane right there and yeah we're heading downhill right now and turn the train brake on until we get released or clearance to 60 release the brakes and I got the choice to basically coast or to speed up I'm gonna get the throttle on probably give it a little bit of throttle I'm not like I said in a huge rush to get down this hill and start braking again but six miles to go Barely have to draw the line to work. 
break in probably two to three miles out, be on the safe side. Not before then, we get a reduction of speed for any reason. Like this would be pretty dangerous in real life, especially with the, the lack of power and braking ability going down such a steep decline for so long. Or if they had any like runaway trains. So I can see that happening or something. Like I said, I lost my profile before. Okay, this is definitely the Bosley platform. We do that little house of construction to the left there. So, I'm correcting the last two platforms in the middle. But yeah, I finally got my computer to where it's not crashing on all these different video games. We gotta get down to 15 miles per hour from them. So, we'll go ahead and start.
feel like we made a pretty good time coming up the incline. Isn't that correct? It's like my baby when I try to kiss it when it's angry. It's like, no, don't kiss me. As soon as you get food, he's like, all right, yeah, I do. Can I ask you questions? See, every time I look at her, she's like, no. Brakes I have on right now is basically just this first application is kind of keeping me cruising at 25 miles per hour. We're slowly, slowly reducing the looks of it.
All right. Pretty happy with that. Another scenario route down. Glad to get it to YouTube to you guys. If you made it to this point and you want a free game, put I want a free game beneath there. I might just send you a free game. Like I said, I got too many to get rid of. But that's it for the standard struggle. Obviously, we, the standard tunnel is the one at the top of the mountain, um, three miles long, pretty straight, or I think it was exactly straight from the looks of it. Uh, but the time taken was 51, 55 uh, miles driven, 24.48 miles, and I only walked 1.84 yards. I think that was to change the brakes on the locomotive. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Again, I hope to have some more videos coming your way from both this ATS and ETS2. And eventually I will be streaming at some point in the future. Um, but leave me a comment below. Let me know if you want a free game. And cheers to everybody. Take care. Don't you know?